Hi guys, this is IGCSE O level chemistry paper 22, June 2018, question 1. A gas is released at point X in the apparatus shown. Which gas turns damp universal indicator paper red most quickly? So if it's going to turn red, that means the gas has to be acidic. So the options are ammonia. Ammonia is a basic gas, so it gets eliminated. Chlorine. Chlorine uh, dissolves in the water that the universal indicator paper is uh, uh, dipped in because it is damp and will form HCl. So it can turn damp lead litmus or not litmus, uh, damp universal indicator paper red. HCl can also turn it red and SO2 can also turn it red. So we have got three gases that can turn the damp universal indicator paper red. So now we need to find out which of these will travel the fastest. So the MR of Cl2 is 71. The MR of HCl is 36.5. And the MR of SO2 is 64. So out of these three MR, the one that is the smallest value is 36.5. That means HCl will be the quickest to reach the universal indicator paper and turn it red. Therefore, option C is the correct option for this question. Question. photography experiment was done to separate a mixture of four substances. The RF value measured for these substances were 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.8, and 0 0.8. Which diagram shows the chromatogram obtained? A shows that the particles were not separated properly. B shows four different substances with four different RF values. C shows three different substances with three different RF values, which means two of them can be positioned at an RF value of 0 0.8, but will be uh, covering one another. So four separate stops will not be observable. So C is correct. And D shows four separate spots and two spots that have moved to either side, which is impossible as far as chromatography is concerned. So D is completely incorrect. So as a result, option C is the correct option for this question. Question three, which piece of apparatus cannot be used to collect and measure the volume of gas produced in an experiment? Uh, Burette. Burette can be used to collect a gas. A gas syringe is used to collect a gas. A magic cylinder is also used to collect a gas, but a pipette cannot be used to collect a gas. The burette can be used because it has a tap. We can seal the tap so that the gas does not escape. So burette, gas syringe, and magic cylinder can be used, out of which the gas syringe is the best piece of apparatus, followed by the magic cylinder. And the least useful one is the burette. And a pipette cannot be used to uh, collect gas. Therefore, the correct option for this question is option D. Question 4. The lead in a pencil is made up, made of a mixture of graphite and clay. Okay. When the percentage of graphite is increased, the pencil slides across the paper more easily. Which statement explains this observation? Graphite has a high melting point. Uh, this Statement is correct, but is not related to the observation. Graphite is a form of carbon. Again, this is correct, but not related to the observation. Graphite is a lubricant. Yes, that is why it is able to slide over the paper more easily because layers of graphite move over each other. And graphite is a non-metal. This is also correct, but not relevant to the observation. Therefore, option C is the correct option for this question. Question five, which pair shows particles with the same chemical properties? So particles with the same chemical properties would have to be isotopes. And isotopes have the same number of electrons and protons, but different number of neutrons. So they would have the same number of uh, protons, meaning they would have the same atomic number or the proton number, but a different mass number or a different nucleon number. In the case of A, we have got M and M positive. So the atom and ion have different chemical properties. In B, we have got two atoms, one having 
a nucleon number of 23 and the other having a nucleon number of 24. So these are isotopes. So this is correct. In C, we've got two atoms with the same nuclear number, but different proton numbers. So these are different atoms of different elements. And in D, we've got two ions with the same proton number, with the same uh, nuclear number, but different proton numbers. So these are ions of two different elements. Therefore, the correct option for this question is option B. Question six. Which substances have similar structures? Diamond and graphite have different structures. Graphite occurs in layers while diamond is a single molecule. So this is not it. Diamond and silicon four oxide. Diamond has a hexagonal structural arrangement of carbon atoms while silicon four oxide has a hexagonal arrangement of silicon and oxygen atoms. So these two structures are same or similar to each other. Graphite and polythene are very much different from each other. Graphite and silicon four oxide are very much different from each other. Therefore, option B is the correct option for this question. Question seven, which substance is not a macromolecule? Diamond is a macromolecule. Graphite is a macromolecule. Silicon four oxide is a macromolecule. Sulfur is a simple molecule. Therefore, the correct option for this question is option D. Question 8. The equation for the reaction between potassium carbonate and nitric acid is shown. Which volume of carbon dioxide is produced from 69 grams of potassium carbonate? So the MR of potassium carbonate is 138. So we calculate the number of moles by dividing 69 by 138 which gives us 0 0.5 moles. And since the molar ratio of potassium carbonate to carbon dioxide is one is to one, if we have 0 0.5 moles of potassium carbonate, we have 0 0.5 moles of carbon dioxide. And one mole of any gas at RTP occupies a volume of 24 dm cube. Therefore, 0 0.5 moles of carbon dioxide will occupy a volume of 0 0.5 upon one into 24, which would give us a value of 12 dm cube, which makes option B the correct option for this question. Question 9. A solution of sodium carbonate has a concentration of 0 0.03 mole per dm cube. Which mass of sodium carbonate is dissolved in 1 dm cube of this solution? So the MR of sodium carbonate is 106. So in one mole per dm cube solution, 106 grams would be present in 1000 cm cube, which would be equal to a concentration of one mole per dm cube solution. So now if we have a 0 0.03 mole per dm cube of the solution, that means we would have 1000 cm cube of water, but the mass needs to be calculated. Since 1000 is common, we cancel that out. We are left with 0 0.03 upon 1 into 106, giving us a value of 3.18 grams. So the mass of sodium carbonate in 0 0.03 mole per dm cube solution would be 3.18 grams in 1 dm cube of the solution, making option B the correct option for this question. Question 10. Aqueous copper to sulfate is electrolyzed using copper electrodes. Which statement about the electrolysis is not correct? An oxidation reaction occurs at the positive electrode. Yes, it is the anode. Anode is where oxidation occurs. The current is carried through the electrolyte by ions. Yes. Through the wire, the current travels by the flow of electrons and through the solution, it travels by the flow of ions. The negative electrode gains mass. Yes, negative electrode is cathode. Cathode is where reduction takes place. And when copper ions are reduced to copper metal, there is a gain in the mass of the cathode. The number of copper ions in the electrolyte decreases? No, because they are replaced by Cu2 positive ions that have been oxidized from copper metal of the anode. So there is no decrease in the number of copper 2 ions in the electrolyte. This makes option D the correct option for this question.